Today is April 25th, 2019, and this is the milkweed. I already transplanted some into the garden, and I'll go over there and show you what it looks like. And these are the ones that I've transplanted into a garden plot. May 24th, 2019. This is some of the milkweed I planted um, out by the bananas. July 4th, 2019. This is the um, milkweed. Looks like we'll have some blooms soon. July 25th. And this is my milkweed. August 22nd, this is the um, milkweed. And um, if you didn't know about milkweed, which I did not, it starts up with one, and then several come up afterwards. So one plant will give you several little starts. See, there's one coming up off of this plant. September 9th, 2019, and um, this is the milkweed. We've already had some milk or some of the seeds. They're so soft. Today is March 3rd, 2020, and this is the milkweed. The milkweed never actually completely died down. Which really surprised me. I figured it would. I trimmed these. Because they were just falling all over the aisle. This is a patch of the milkweed that I haven't trimmed yet. Oh, it's blooming already. Today is March 6th, and I've decided to transplant these uh, milkweed. Milkweed. I'm going to put them and putting them over here along the fence line. And I also want to do these. I don't know if I'll get to these today or not. I thought I would show you the root system on this, this plant, the milkweed. Even though I cut all the way around it and lifted the soil, still a lot of the roots broke off, but look, it's really got a good, good root system. Okay, so the first bed, I have all the milkweed pulled, dug out, and I put them right over here, along the fence. And so, this next batch here, I think I'm going to take them down way down to that fence over there. This one, when I pulled it up, it released some of the milk out of the stem. My hands were all sticky. Pretty cool. Okay, so I got the second area cleared out, or dug up, replanted down here along this fence. These dug up 
most of them were just single pieces instead of a group like the other ones so I got to spread them out a lot further they're all the way down here Today is April 3rd, 2020, and this is uh, a milkweed that I transplanted, and it looks like it has all died down this side. Here is some more of the milkweed that I transplanted. It doesn't look dead, but it had caterpillars all over it just the last week so they have eaten it really good last year they didn't ever even touched it but they found it this year April 26 2020 and this is the milkweed you can see it's looking really good this is one that I did not transplant I just left it left these here from last year and these little brown sticks here are the ones that I transplanted along the fence line to the property at the neighbors. Um, they, except for that one, had been looking like they had died, which I thought they did, but now I see some life to them. So maybe they're going to be okay. My um, hose doesn't reach this far, so I haven't been able to water them. And this group here is the ones that I've transplanted that the hose does reach. The caterpillars did come in and eat. And now they're starting to come back. So when we have butterflies, they can come and lay their eggs. And uh, just repeat the, repeat the cycle. Today is May 6, 2020, and this is the milkweed.